Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. I'm out here early. Sun just came up a little bit ago. I was actually here earlier. I thought I had a fuel can out here and I didn't. So I had to grab my spare fuel can, run up to the convenience store up the road, fill it up, come back. So wasted 15 minutes doing that. But I'm out here because I need to irrigate. It's been dry. I'll show you what the soil looks like here in a minute. But uh, we got maybe quarter of an inch, less than a quarter of an inch of rain in the last two weeks. And uh, it's been hot, mid 90s, last couple days, mid 90s again today. It'll continue to be at least in the upper 80s for the next several days. And there's only a small chance of rain in the next several days as well so I wanted to get out here start putting some water down on some of these trees that really need it and I'm doing a little bucket brigade action because I still haven't made any upgrades to my irrigation system yet so I'll show you what I'm doing and the deer flies are out in full force you can probably hear them probably see them and it is I'm gonna need some bug spray <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to fuel up the pump. I'm going to get it running. I'm going to fill up some of these tubs. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm, I'm basically just using a big tub, scooping buckets full of water out of the tub, and then w putting the water down on the trees. A manual job, but something that I think I got to keep doing here in Central Virginia because it's hot and it's dry. And if I want these trees to survive, they're going to need more water. So let's get into it. All right, so down here on the low part of the field, I've just got this little sprinkler running. There are two other lines that run off my irrigation system that go way up the field, and I'm using those to fill up some big tubs. This sprinkler just ran here two days ago. Um, I was out here the other day doing a little bit of irrigating. So I'm gonna move it just slightly, and then I'll show you how I'm hand watering all the other stuff. All right, so I'm mostly just irrigating the firs today. The pines and spruces seem to be doing all right. Um, the firs are the ones that we know are not native to this area at all, and they're the ones least likely to survive in our climate. So we're gonna have to give them the most attention. We've already lost quite a few of the trees that we planted in the spring. Uh, my next video, I'm actually gonna show you guys the difference between the trees that we planted in the fall versus the trees we planted in the spring. Short answer, the ones that we planted in the fall did better, but I'm gonna also compare the uh, plants that we got from the greenhouse, the little greenhouse plugs, versus the bare root transplants and spring versus fall. So uh, you'll see a little bit of how some of those trees have done better than others, and I'll share with you why I think that is. I'm out of breath from walking up the hill. But anyway, I just had to come up here to get these buckets so I can go back down and uh, start watering the trees. So here we go. All right, so here's what we got. It's just a garden hose. The end apparently got run over by a tractor or something, so I can't thread anything on here right now. But all that comes out of this is about uh, five or six gallons a minute. So it's pretty slow, and if I want to put some water on the trees, it, uh, you know, it takes a good while, you know, 20, 30 seconds at least to get a gallon or more on each tree. So instead of using um, sprinklers, which is, you know, watering grass more than trees, plenty of people have commented that on my previous videos. Um, and instead of going tree by tree and watering with a hose, which I've done that at times before too, I'm using this little container as a reservoir here. I'm just gonna keep the hose in there and let it fill up and then I'm gonna be walking back and forth with buckets. And as I get a bunch of the trees that are in this general area, I'll pick up my reservoir and move it to another area and water a bunch more trees. It's a very labor intensive job, but as I mentioned, uh, a lot of these fir trees that we're trying to get to grow here, um, they just, they're, they're, they can't dry out. They're not used to the hot weather that we get here in, in Central Virginia. So I'm gonna do everything I can to keep them hydrated and everything I can to try to get them to grow into successful and healthy Christmas trees. So now that this reservoir is about full, I'm gonna go get to watering. Okay, that bucket's gonna take a few minutes to fill up. I'm gonna run over to my third hose, which is way over here. 
and I'm going to use it to start watering some of our uh, wildflowers and zinnias that have just started to sprout. All right, yeah, so these first three rows here, these are zinnias just starting to come up. Just trying to keep them moist through this little hot spell. If we can get a little bit of rain, that'd be nice. And then the whole rest of this field of sunflowers, and you can see they're coming up and we kind of staggered the planting. So these up here in the middle and kind of the top of this little hill here are the first ones, they're the biggest. And then I've got a different variety down there that should grow a little bit smaller and a little faster. And then over here is our last big batch of mammoths and they're just starting to come up. But what I really need to do right now are these wildflower seeds. Kind of cut these little rows here in the grass plant some perennial and annual mix of wildflowers. This will be an area that we won't be planting Christmas trees over here for several years so we figured if we can get some wildflowers to grow let them go to seed and kind of slowly spread in this area that's fine with us. I got all those seeds, water, got to get back to the trees now. I've got a second one of those big tubs. I'm going to bring it down here for this hose. And then uh, I'll just end up alternating between the two tubs and get everything on this lower field watered. Okay, well I got one tub here. I got one tub way over there filling up. And when I get moving, I can empty these faster than they fill up. So I'm gonna work on this one now that it's about full. That one's filling up and I'm just gonna be running back and forth emptying water. So, time to get sweaty. It's hot. This is my workout for the day. So that's how I'm watering. In about three hours, I got about a third of our trees done. So that probably means I did about five to 600 trees. Uh, I also spent a little bit of time mowing and I watered the flowers in that three hours. So it wasn't truly three hours just watering trees, but you get the idea. Still a very manual, very labor intensive process. I've got the pump still running. You can hear that in the background. I've got a couple sprinklers still going. I'm just gonna leave the pump running uh, after I leave and until the pump runs out of gas. And hopefully, if we're really lucky, the weather forecast has about a 60% chance of rain here in the next uh, about three, four days. 
maybe we'll get something and I won't have to do more of this next week. But if not, I'll be coming out here doing more of this next week. And uh, next video, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the difference between the trees that I put in the ground in the fall and the ones that I put in the ground this spring. And uh, I think for where we live in our climate, pretty big difference, pretty healthy difference. And it's definitely going to impact uh, what we do in the future here out on the farm. So stay tuned for that one. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that red button below this video. And if you hit the bell icon next to it, you can get notified of future videos. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.